Hi guys, it's Doc Curry, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to trade in a bear market. I'm seeing a lot of people make mistakes that are costing them a lot of money, so we're gonna talk about what you should do, what you should not do, and I'm also gonna tell you what's happening on Friday that you need to be aware of. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, when it comes to a bear market, a lot of people are making a lot of mistakes right now. And I get it, there's a lot of new traders who've never traded in a bear market before. The last true bear market that we've had in this country was back in 2008. Now, a lot of people think, well, I traded in the March 2020 uh, downturn and I made a ton of money, so I know what I'm doing. And right now they're losing money and they don't quite understand why. And here's what's going on. The March 2020 was not a bear market. It was actually a market crash. And the difference is both a market crash and a bear market are both defined by a drop of 20% or more in the markets. But the big difference is in a market crash, you get a very rapid drop in the markets followed by an equally rapid rise back up. And that's what we saw. We got a major drop in March of 2020. And by May of 2020, we were back to new all time highs. A bear market operates in a very different manner. In a bear market, you're gonna find the markets are gonna go down very, very slowly. Bear markets typically last anywhere from three months to 18 months. So literally for the next year or longer, we could see the markets very slowly drop. And then once they do bottom out, the recovery is much slower than it is during a market crash. The recovery can take four or five years. So there are two things that you should be doing right now, and there's a few things you should not be doing. First of all, right now we are seeing major volatility, and yet the markets are mostly trading flat. We're not really seeing a big rise up or a big drop down. Uh, they're mostly trading flat. We might see a rise or a drop of five to eight percent in a week, uh, but if you look at it over the past month, they are pretty much right where we were a month ago. And the reason for that is there's a lot of fighting right now between bulls and bears. The bulls are saying, well, the Fed hasn't raised interest rates yet. We don't even know if they will. We don't know when they will. So let's just keep buying stocks by sides. There's no other place to put our money right now. And the bears are saying, look, the Fed's about to raise interest rates. It's about to be really bad for stocks. Let's sell these stocks. Let's get out of them. And let's just let the market fall. So you have a lot of fighting right now between bulls and bears. So what that does is it sets up a market environment that will make you a lot of money if you do certain things and will lose you a lot of money if you do other things. One thing you absolutely do not want to be doing right now is going long on single leg options. So buying a call option or buying a put option. That is absolutely not what you want to be doing right now if you're going to be holding them for more than one day. And the reason is while you might get a major swing up or down on any given day, Overall, we're still trading flat, and the options are gonna lose money over time to do theta or time decay. So if you're buying a single leg option, first of all, we have no idea which way the market's gonna go on any given day. We could rise 3% one day and drop 3% the next day. We just don't know. There's too much chaos in the markets right now. So because we have a lot of chaos, and we can't pick a direction, it's not the time to be buying an option that only makes money if a stock moves in one particular direction. The stocks aren't really going straight up and they're not going straight down. So both call options and put options are gonna lose money in an environment like this. The other mistake I see a lot of traders making is thinking that just because the stock dipped that it has to go back up. And that's just not true. It might be true eventually, maybe three, four, five years from now, but it's certainly not true in the short term. This is one thing I learned about the 2008 market crash is a lot of people thought, man, this stock is beat down, it's dirt cheap, it's got a PE ratio of five, it can't possibly go any lower. And then it just kept going lower and lower and lower. And that's one thing I really learned is no matter how low you think a stock can't go any lower, it will. It'll just keep going lower. So if you're gonna be dip buying, you have to have a really long-term perspective because everybody that dip bought during 2008, eventually they made an absolute killing in the markets if they held for three, four, five years. But the people that dip bought thinking, oh, this is gonna go back up in a month or two, they lost their shirt because they bought call options thinking that we would get a rebound back to a fair price and it just never happened. The stock just kept going down. And so I don't recommend buying single leg calls or single leg puts right now 
over a multi-day period because the markets are mainly flat, even though they're super volatile, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, but ultimately flat. And you're just going to lose money to time decay. Now, that said, there is a great way to buy single leg options. So let me go over the, the two ways that you can make a lot of money in a bear market. And the two ways are one, you buy the dip and you hold for a really long time. We're talking four or five years. The second way is that you start day trading. So you say, you know what, the markets are moving 3% in one day. And you know that if in the morning you see the market start to drop, maybe you buy a put option, you sell it a few hours later and you make a 25 or 100% gain. And if the markets are rising, you buy a call option, you sell it a few hours later, you make a 25, 100% gain. So this is a day trader's dream. Now when the bear market's over and the volatility dies down and the market's no longer moving up and down 3% in a day, it's not gonna be the time to day trading. Day trading at that point will be dead. But while the markets are having major volatility, it's a great time to day trade. Now day trading is extremely difficult. A lot of people lose money day trading. I don't recommend you do it unless you know what you're doing. If you don't feel comfortable day trading, then I just, I would go the other route. I would do the ultra long term. The other thing that you can do during this time period is learn. Take the time to open up a paper account on Webull or TD or wherever, get a paper account and just practice in your paper account and try to practice a few different strategies. And if you're trying out these different strategies and you're still struggling and you're saying, you know what, these videos are really helpful, but I feel like I just need a little bit of extra help. I wanna let you know that I've now opened up coaching. So I am starting coaching. The first coaching session is gonna be this Sunday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to start coaching and get some more personalized one-on-one uh, -on -one help, uh, I do have group coaching sessions that are gonna be starting this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. If you're interested in that, you can go to stockcurry.vip slash coaching and you can sign up for coaching. Uh, there is a discount right now. You get $5 off if you're one of the first thousand people to sign up. So it's just $20 a month if you wanna sign up for coaching right now. Okay, so the next question you probably have is, what should I be buying right now? I've got this cash and I don't know what to do with it. Well, there are a couple of sectors that will historically perform quite well during a bear market. And those sectors include banking stocks, gold, consumer staples or consumer goods, depending upon how your broker calls it, and highly discounted retailers, things like McDonald's, Walmart, dollar stores, things like that. So those are the stocks that typically perform extremely well. Now, normally I would include healthcare in here, but we are in a very unique situation where healthcare already ran up massively due to the pandemic. So I think healthcare is a little bit overbought. So this is the one bear market where I'm gonna exclude healthcare. And I think if we just stick to consumer staples, the uh, low budget retail stores, and banking stocks and gold stocks, I think you'll do really well this year. I actually do think that banking stocks could rise and possibly even double this year. And I put out a video a few days ago about how gold stocks, uh, if you look at the ETF, they ran up over 100% the last time the Fed raised interest rates. And speaking of banking stocks, that leads us to the big news that's coming up on Friday, and that is that banks are reporting earnings on Friday. On Friday, we have JP Morgan, Chase, Wells Fargo, Citigroup, BlackRock, and First Republic Bank all reporting earnings before the open. So this is a great opportunity to get in and make some money on these earnings. Now, I personally do believe that the banks are gonna beat earnings, and even if they don't, I do think they're gonna continue to beat earnings as the interest rates start to rise and they make more and more money from higher interest rates. So I wanted to let you know about that because the bank earnings could have a major effect on the markets on Friday and into next week. And that is why in the Million Dollar Challenge portfolio, even though I've been sick and I haven't been able to trade for the past week, the one thing I did do is create some pillars in that portfolio. And the two pillars we have are about 50% of that portfolio is in banking stocks right now, and about 25% of that portfolio is in gold stocks right now. And those are the pillars that I think could double this year that will help us make money even if the option plays don't work out that well. And the final thing I wanna let you know about is that the markets are closed on Monday. 
So Monday is a market holiday here in the United States. So next week will be a four day trading week from Tuesday through Friday. So enjoy your three day weekend. I wanna let you guys know about that. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Go ahead and comment down below what your favorite stocks are during this bear market. And if you're looking for a broker to trade with, you can sign up for Webull using my link in the description below. When you sign up for Webull and deposit just $1, they're gonna send you two free stocks worth up to $3,300. Now, if you're not a US resident or if you're looking to trade OTC penny stocks, then I recommend Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers has highly discounted trading throughout the world, and they also allow options trading even in the UK. And both Interactive Brokers and Webull both offer the full pre-market and after hours trading from 4 a.m. until 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, I do want to remind you that I have material connections with both of those. So whenever you sign up for either one, not only are you getting a great broker to trade with, you're also helping me to continue to produce these great videos for you. Finally, I want to remind you that we have a free Discord where you can jump on there and you can chat with traders all day long, day and night, and bounce ideas off of each other. It's a very active community. We've got over a thousand members in that free Discord. You don't have to pay for it. Just go join the free Discord. You can do so at stockcurry.vip slash Discord. All right, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, click the bell icon and click all. That way you'll get notified when I release my next video. I hope you have a lot of success trading and I will see you on Tuesday.